I'm gonna try and sleep in the game. Ever since I can remember, I've always had the ability to lucid dream, to control it, and to make everything I ever wanted come true. I've always had a deep interest in architecture. I would spend all night just building. I could construct a skyscraper in a matter of seconds. But the greatest thing I could do in my dreams was to talk to people. I wasn't actually talking to them. Instead, I was talking to my subconscious. But after the accident, I lost that ability. So I've been reading up a little on these lucid trips you like to take. Lucid dreams, Mom. Nobody calls them lucid trips. Lucid dreaming, that's it. It's just that it all reminds me of acid sort of... I mean, I'm, mm, I mean, I mean, you know, stuff that I've read about. You haven't done any acid, have you? No, Mom. I haven't done any LSD. At least not in the last couple of days, anyway. That's very funny. I, I know you wouldn't do anything like that. You, you've always been really responsible. Well, have you talked to Samantha's parents? Yes. They're gonna wait two more days. Poor Rick and Laura, they're having to deal with so much. Mom. Sam, it wasn't your fault, you know that. Yeah, but I should have seen the car coming. Bad stuff happened, Sam, it wasn't your fault. Thanks, Mom. But I'm really tired, so I think I'm gonna try to get some sleep now. Hey, honey. Sweet dreams. Thanks, Mom. After the car crash, all I wished for is that the car hadn't hit us and that Samantha was still alive. But after hitting my head, I lost control. My dreams were nightmares. Samantha kept dying. For the first time in my life, I had to start learning about how to regain control, how to train my mind to recognize that I was inside a dream. I used what many call reality checks, constantly checking to see if I was actually awake. For the next couple days, I kept checking to see if I was in a dream or reality. Nothing happened the first day, but on the second day. Sam, wake up! Sam! Sam! Sam, wake up! Sam! Sam, wake up! Sam! It's okay, Samantha. It's okay. It's not your fault. The important thing is that Sam loved you and you loved him. Who knows whether any of this is reality or just an illusion. <laughs> 